Hey everybody, how are you? I hope you're doing great. I'm going to share with you another cool design using quick links and this time it's a very popular design that sometimes we avoid to make because we think it's gonna be yeah too much and it's true I'm talking about the fox the fox is a very cool animal to make out of balloons there's many different ways and the same is with all designs all balloons animals like if someone asks you for a dog you can make the simple one balloon dog the most classic one or you can make a like five four six balloon Dog, something more elaborated and in between there is a many 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 designs that you can make for a dog so the same happened with the fox and probably all the on animals but um so this is a version I'm, i was thinking about quick links because i have already i bought my quick link orange and so i have lots of quick link orange because i can make it for tigers you know and i already make other designs using the quick link orange especially i was thinking if i don't use it until what is uh, the October, that is the pumpkin festival, I can use those quick links for easy, fast pumpkins. So it was my idea. So now I'm thinking, well, I still have some more time. So from now, I should start making animals using those quick links. And I thought the fox, yep. So all connect. That's how I think sometimes, you know, trying to make sure I can use the balloons I have with me because it's like we don't have all the balloons. And and I found it in my balloon store, they have quick links. So that's the cool part. Um, we already made a couple, lots of balloons. And also I have a playlist that says quick links. So if you go to that place, designs using quick links, check it out. Because if you decide to start using not just 260 balloons, try to use quick links, you will learn and you can expand, you know, your options. Um, it, it helps a lot because, you know, the quick links, and I'm going to show you when I say about quick links. Um, this is, for example, a quick link that is the blush. I use it for a lot of things. And now this uh, season, this summer, I've been, been asked to make lots of a sloth. The sloth is a very cute animal. And I use just one quick link blush and then two brown 260 most of the time. Um, it's a very cool design. You can learn it also on my playlist, uh, quick link designs of balloon animals. Now, uh, imagine if you have in different colors, different animals. So in the same technique, pretty much you can use it for ma make many animals. So I was thinking about the fox and I'm going to show you because, okay, this is a long introduction. because <laughs> It's not like the balloon, the design came right away. You know, I have my, my ways to create design. It's play music so i'm with just instrumental music that is classic music and then i start thinking hmm, remember cecilia what is the design that sometimes people likes you know kids love it especially girls around what seven to nine year old and they ask for a fox and i you know like oh i i know many different ways to make fox yes so i was thinking why not another one and so i was always you know use my tool google so i google cute fox and then came a lot of cute foxes and then i saw those two and i thought mm, yes i can see it out of balloons or at least that's what i get inspired you know and this is what it came out look at this i think it's a very cute way if you made it kids you know and anybody i think will recognize it's a fox so this design is using a quick link orange, uh, like a six inch round or five inch round quick link orange, plus one balloon to 60 orange, one balloon to 60 black, and one balloon to 60 white. Um, the black, you use it all the way. The orange to 60, you use it all the way. And the white to 60, you use it all the way. So it's a four balloon design. I don't think it's that bad, especially if you want to make this for a, um, maybe line twisting is not gonna be, but you never know. You can make more simple the eyes, more simple, you know. This is just a very cute, kuwai smile. This is a kuwai smile. I think it fits perfect. This represents the chest. This is the cheeks, mouth, nose. So let's do this. And it, what I love, you know, when I'm making my looks, it's also the fun that I have creating this design. Now remember, you can learn this technique and then make it much simple because I'm sure there's much more easier ways to make things. 
the way I see, you know, it's sometimes I complicate myself because I like it. That's what for me makes me, you know, feel it's fun. So, um, and then with practice, I'm sure this can be super fast. Okay. So let's start. You want to use your quick link orange and listen, if you don't have a quick link orange right now, it's okay. Practice with any color, yellow, uh, practice with brown, with any color you have. Because at the end, right now, it's practicing. And if you like it, if you think, hmm, I can make it, I'm making, okay, I can make it more. Now, if you don't have a quick link, don't worry. This is, a, I'm sure it will be good with a 350 or 260. What I like about the quick link is you can be able to make these bigger sizes. Look, this size, this belly, and even the tail. So you have a lot of things that you make with just one balloon. Um, and in different shapes and that's you know different sizes one balloon but different sizes you know this is bigger you know different shapes so in a 260 you know it will be much um probably this for the tail but then to make something chubby like this or like this is not gonna be able to so now let's keep going now it's tutorial time so let's <laughs> grab your balloons um the trick first, um, you can start already having things ready that because I already made it, so I will tell you. The 260 black, so you have this here, wait for a moment, uh, maybe we can have things ready. 260 black, inflated like, poof, 14 finger tail. It's, you just make two finger bubble or less, pinch twist, another two finger bubble, pinch twist, another two finger bubble, pinch twist, and another two finger bubble, pinch twist. That's it. That is going to represent the paws, black paws, of, you know, feet. Cut, leave it for a moment. What else you use the black to make a very small, because this is a fox with a very small black nose. So it's a one finger bubble, tied it as a pinch twist. I mean, you can use all the way just the end it's up to you but if i'm here if, and i wanted to start with the nose i'm just tied it here a little bit two or three times cut leaving uh some tip you will need it with a some tip like a brow three finger without in, inflated okay then you're gonna look i don't have to tie it if you know you're gonna make another pinch twist right now so you're gonna make one bubble pinch twist or you can also tie it right now and then make you know like three pinch twists so you can make two first you make two bubbles and then you twist them together so it's a double pinch twist and then you just make another one on top bubble pinch twist and cut leaving a little bit of a tip okay a little bit of a tip and then you repeat this one more time. So those are the tip of the, the ears. And just because I wanna use all the balloon to 60 black. If you don't have time, you don't have to do that ending of the, of the ears. But if you have time, especially for birthday parties, why not to make a little bit something cute? It's not really that much time and you already have the balloon, you know? So you have something like this, okay? You can take the ear out so you have Two sets of these, three pinch twist, one little nose, and four pinch twists. I know it may be half too many pinch twists, but I like that technique. <laughs> what can I say? I'm just tying and securing this a couple of times, and that's it. Leave a tip always in all those things we make with the black, and you can put it in the side. Now, let's go with the orange. 260 inflated like four or five finger tail and you're gonna start having ready the ears so it's four finger bubble and then like six finger long that's gonna give a little bit of a shape of an ear of a beak huh? <laughs> so four finger bubble six finger long bubble and you have this idea twist 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 lock then you're gonna make a one finger bubble or two or one inch <laughs> and pinch twist then and this is what i thought i'm gonna make like another one or one inch finger bubble 
another one or one inch finger bow well, approximately things doesn't have to be perfect just try it do your best and then then you make four finger bubble again and then six finger long you see twist it together so that's the other ear and then another one inch finger bubble that's it the rest cut it and look if this came undone in between it's okay you can twist it again okay so i'm gonna leave it for a moment quick twist and being popped but don't get rid of this orange because those are gonna be the four legs just this little piece is gonna be the four legs and you don't need it that much air so you can just measure approximately a bubble that is like this like probably i'm gonna show you in a moment something like eight finger long something like that approximately because you're just gonna be very short legs so it's a cute it's a cute fox okay so you i love this pass it around i love this and that's it pretty much this is what you have okay in here in the middle is gonna be twisting in half yeah okay so you have something like this look at this and this is the moment that you will see something that I saw. I hope you can see it. Let's see. You can leave it this for a moment. Now let's grab our quick link. This is what I do. Sometimes I start from this part. Sometimes I start from this part. But what I wanted is to be able to use this part for the tail of the fox. When I squish the air in a moment. But first I tied it very close to the nozzle. This kind of is a bigger than the palm of my hand. Okay, so you can cover the palm of your hand and a couple more fingers. And then you want to squeeze now up to the nozzle. Let's go. Pew! And then you're going to make something like a finger long, approximately. Okay, bubble. And that's what is going to be attached right here. Or even it's not like going to be twist. So you just squish measure look how, look how i hold the balloon okay and then and then i just gonna close it from here i'm gonna close it with another bubble so i'm gonna show you and that bubble because that's how the shape of the balloon is it's gonna be bigger so you're gonna make i'm gonna put this here so you can see look at this okay this is a person with four this is a person with five you can leave it even less, so you can even have something less, like the same size if you want back at the end. And no matter what, this piece is going to be bigger, thicker, because that's how it's a shape of a balloon quick link when you start squishing. So you're going to trap the ears here. Pin. And that's what I'm thinking. I made these two in just, uh, what is, pin there. Just because it was easy for me to define the middle, you know. But if it doesn't get untwist these two bubbles, it's fine. You're just trying to put it there. So now I grab the balloon. Look, I'm using my chest. I grab a balloon and then I just put it there. You see? Now, what can you see? What can you see here? I mean, I can see something. I don't know if you can see it. I just pass it around and then you can lock it. You can, but look at this. This is a type of ears that it can be moving and uh, and, and the, with the pinch twist, you can accommodate it. Uh, I like it this way, you know, so you can keep it this way, like this. You can put it even lower, the pinch twist. So, and depending how lower you put it, this can be pretty much, or oh, how angled you use, this can be a very cute baby Yoda or the Yoda, if someone asks you for Yoda, you know Yoda, <laughs> for Star Wars. <laughs> okay, so this is the cool thing about it. You can play with the pinch twist and the shape of how you want these ears. So this is a very, I think, cool technique. Okay, so now you have this so far, it's locked here. You pull, you know, the nose and pass it around. Now you can, um, if you feel, oh, it's gonna get a twist, you can always have it here with you in between. While you, with your balloon 260, uh, you're gonna make the cheeks, the this pork and the chest. So, 
soft and squishable. This balloon is inflated approximately eight or nine finger tail. You're gonna make a soft and squishable four or three finger loop, right? And then twist lock, another four or three finger loop, twist lock. And then you can, if you want, start making the whole thing. Or when you are here, you, it's gonna be easier to, you know, pass it, open it, the loops, and fasten it, you know, to lock things. Mm -hmm. I think I'm missing some else, so this is getting a twist, but and this is squish and twist the loops, you know, put it in there. Whatever is easy for you, that's what I want to say. Okay. And then you can pass this around, securing things. I mean, this one I can't so I'm gonna pull and secure things. Um, then I just have to write, put it right from there. You have something like this. Look at this. When you here, you just need to make very short. No more than three finger long bubble, and then another no more than three finger long bubble, and you're gonna twist it together. So, or you can just pass it again around and secure it there. When you are here, you can always you have to secure things, twist it. That's that's okay. You have something like this. Now with this, you're gonna make three pinch twist to the sides. It's gonna be there. So three pinch twist. Squish. How easy you is, it's like two pinch twists, like inch, one inch each, approximately. The pinch twist can be soft, it's fine, so. But three, I think it's gonna be cool. Okay, so you have three, and then you know you really have three and it's all messy, but it's okay. You cut and leave some, because at the end, it will be good to use the end of the balloon to make some bubbles for the tip, the, the end of the tail. So now with this, you just make sure you pass it around. Uh, so it's everything secure there. Twist and make you make sure you pinch twist are like one next to the other one, something like this. I like, you know, it's kind of the chest. Now, this design, you know, it's gonna be in a moment like more you know, you can play with the angle and have it something more like this. You will see. Mm -hmm. Something more like this. So look at this is more like this, you see? Now, you can always accommodate things and I, sometimes I squish, you know, the pink twist in there and I open it like this. So it's up to you. But you decide what you, how you want that, that ear. Um, I'm gonna leave it this way, look. I think it's cute. So the pinch twist, the bubbles. So there you go. Now, look how you have this. It, it seems sometimes like it's tight, but you still have all this. So this is a interesting trick that you can do. It's to grab it, this bubble now, and focus to, to push now the air to this side. So you just grab it and squish it, looks soft, nice and gentle, that side. And then you kind of measure, okay, I want that side, uh, I need my hair. And squish it, you know, you want that to be the tail. So you just kind of like grab a bunch and make it the tail, okay? It might be a little, a, a little bit tricky, but it's not impossible. So in order to this doesn't get a twist, you can start grabbing this. This is the leftover of the orange 260. You can grab it, pass this here, okay? You can even make a pinch twist if you want. But if it's not, you can just measure approximately like three or four finger long. I don't think you will have enough for four, so three is gonna be good. Uh, then you kind of pass it through your four pinch twist, black, pass it, Remember the four pinch twist black passes in there in between. Then you're gonna go now up with very short, like two, maybe two finger, it will be better. Okay, two, and then pass it all the way up to the 
maybe the pinch twist, black white, the all the pinch twist white right? that will make it easier maybe. And then go three finger long or two finger bubble. Now maybe I should inflate it more. So if the orange to 60, say eight finger, you know, a little bit more. So I'm gonna just inflate a little bit. Um, so maybe like 10 finger, whatever you have left over. Um, I'm gonna cut it very nice and gentle. Unless you wanna make the, sh the legs shorter, but I think two fingers already very, very short. Um, so I just inflate it again and I'm gonna tie them. And then I'm gonna just end here. You can end with a bubble or just grab this part. You can end with a bubble here, make a bubble. Small, it's okay. And pass it through the tail and just secure things there. And then that's gonna make the tail to be in one side. And this is okay, it can be in one side or just in that this way. Okay. Um when you have that, you can always have the time to accommodate things, but pretty much is this is the, the design. The pink twist in the black with the black in the uh, for the feet. You can put it, you know, like more horizontal, the front ones, because those are the ones that people are gonna see more, you know. And let me show you. It is time for uh, attach all the black pinch twists. Like this little one goes right here in between, uh, you know, the nose. Um, so you just grab it, put it inside, pull, pass it around one time, that same pinch twist black. And then with the rest pull and just go all the way to the center and pass it all around, okay? And there we go, that's gonna keep things secure. Okay, so you have something like this. Look how cute! So cute! <laughs> when you have that, now this pinch twist just in each side, the three pinch twist black. You're gonna just pass it to on top of the ears. Just with that little long hitch, gonna stay there. The same the other side. Two, and it's gonna stay there. Just a little extra because uh, with this design, I like the idea of using all the design. Look at this. Huh, I think it's very cute. Now, what else? It's now, uh, I have this left over uh, 260 white. You can attach it at the end of the tail. So if you think you don't have time, it's like easy Sharpie time, just with white Sharpie color at the end of the tail, orange. Uh, but um, I think I can make, look, finger bubble, pinch twist, finger bubble, pinch twist, and another finger bubble, pinch twist, and the rest can be the, the top of the tail. Like you have something, three finger, like three bubbles, pinch twist, so three pinch twist, and on top a little whatever is left over, and that's gonna be the, the end. And then here you can always grab a little bubble, very little bubble with the orange, the tip at the end of the quick link that represents the tail, and just attach it around one of the pinch twists or two, or just hide it there. Look, things doesn't have to be perfect, just you, you know, it's representing, you know. And so that's the design. Um, Sharpie time, now you can uh, make it as simple as you want. I'm gonna make it simple. It's just black circles for the eyeballs. Um, like I'm gonna make big black circles and then I'm gonna make eyelashes on top. I like the idea of eyelashes for fox, you know, but it's up to you. Even if you want on top little eyebrows, it's, it's up to you. Uh, then from here, that smiley uh, or the mouth is just the Kuwait style that is gonna be like this, look. okay? And if you want between the nose and the mouth, you can make a line just something like this that's it and this trust me people would totally see oh it's a cute fox they're gonna love it now if you have white sharpie you can always make that the eyes cuter if you put some circles even to the sides a little bit of line so it's this is gonna make the design more popping the eyes you know more, more ah, cute so this is if you want you don't have to, but look at this, this way to make the eyes. And pretty much the design is ready. I hope you like it. 
another good thing about this cute fox it's even that you may think oh it's a, it's a small it's not that that small actually it's a very a good size especially for kids to keep it safe uh if they want to put it as a bracelet because if you have to do your wrist dance, i'm looking for one in all my mess because <laughs> yep i'm that crazy person all messy you just grab one of these one dollar wristbands and you can always attach it like i think here it's gonna be good so you just pass it there and you just put it to the kid and that's gonna make the design look like he's sitting look like he's saying there it's in, in the paws or if you prefer by the tail so it's up to you uh, which side do you prefer also you can grab a piece of balloon um oh, it is got to stop but you can also uh, grab a piece of balloon uh, and just pass it from the tail all the way to the paws and this can be you know there attached it's going to be more like this okay so it's a lot of ways to touch this you can uh, glue those or attach it into um what is that the other uh, the headbands um so it's a lot of potential i think this is a very cool design i like it so i hope you like it good things you're using 260 balloons and it's still looking good if you have 160 you can try with 160s uh, but just using 260 and adding the quick link and the process i think it's a cool way now could you be able to do this design using just a round orange balloon for the tail maybe not but you can try and do the rest and then the tail can be the 260 if you will have enough for leave a tail okay so everything is possible maybe you can just grab also scraps you know it's like oh you say only four balloons and you can always add one more <laughs> i love it now I, uh, yes, that's all, I guess. Have a wonderful day. See you in the next video. Don't forget your comments, your likes, subscribing to the channel helps a lot to, to this channel to be better. And also, if you want to collaborate with this channel, on the description of all my videos, there's lots of ideas how to collaborate with this channel. Awesome. Bye-bye.